Ram Power Days are here. Save up to $10,000 off the MSRP on a new Ram 1500 quad cab 4x4. Now just $28,995. Get more power at Burdick Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Drivers Village. The HPV vaccine has been highly recommended for girls as a means of preventing cervical cancer, which kills about 4,000 women a year. But now an advisory panel to the Centers for Disease Control says boys should get the vaccine too, not only to prevent them from contracting certain forms of cancer, but also to stop the spread of a virus that is sexually transmitted. It turns out there is a local connection to this panel's recommendation. Doctors here at Upstate Golisano Children's Hospital contributed to the research. Dr. Leonard Weiner says since girls can give the HPV virus to boys and boys can spread it back to girls, it makes sense to give both of them the vaccine at the ages of 11 and 12 years old. But the reason for that recommendation, both in boys and girls, is that you really need to give this vaccine before exposure to the virus before sexual debut uh, in both boys and girls. The HPV vaccine has raised controversy from those who feel it's subjecting young children to sexual subject matter and others who feel HPV and other vaccines are not entirely safe. Nicole King says she will not allow her five-month-old son to receive the HPV vaccine when he becomes old enough. They say it's supposed to be preventing it and it's really just making these people sick. So you don't um, trust vaccines? Not really, no. Dr. Weiner says many people have a misunderstanding about vaccines. He says the HPV vaccine has been proven safe and effective. It's highly effective, not only in preventing cervical cancer, but in other genital cancers in women. And now the data, which has led to this recommendation in boys, shows that it's also highly effective in preventing uh, um, uh, genital cancers in, in males. Dr. Weiner says by the time Nicole King's baby son becomes 11 years old, the HPV vaccine could be so commonplace that eventually there will be no longer a need for women to undergo pap smear screening for cervical cancer. Jim Kenyon reporting.